Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the DHT11 humidity and temperature sensor using an Arduino. This is a great sensor. Uh, it's one of my favorites. It's a digital humidity and temperature sensor. It's very easy to set up and they're really inexpensive. I think I got this one for like $3 on Amazon. They're really good for weather station projects or environmental monitoring projects. Uh, I've also seen them be used for uh, monitoring the level of moisture in the soil for houseplants. So there's lots of stuff you can do with them. So with that, let's get started. I'm going to take it and insert it into the breadboard. This particular one has uh, three pins and it's mounted to a small little PCB. Some of them have four pins. And if you go to the blog post, I'm going to link to in the description, uh, I'll show you both versions, the three pin and the four pin and what each pin is used for. But for this video, I'll just show you the three pin version. And then I'm going to take a jumper wire and connect the negative pin of the DHT11 to the ground pin of the Arduino. And then I'm going to take another jumper wire and connect the middle positive pin of the DHT11 and connect that to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then I'm going to take another jumper wire and connect the signal pin of the DHT11 to digital pin 7 of the Arduino. And that's all we need, just three wires. So now we're ready to upload some code to the Arduino. I go to the blog post and I go pretty in depth into how the DHT11 works, how it senses humidity and temperature. I've got the technical specifications and a data sheet that you can download. So the DHT11 measures relative humidity. Uh, it's basically just the percentage of moisture in the air. 100% humidity being rain and 0% humidity means absolutely dry air. And here's an image of the 3-pin version and the 4-pin version pinouts. Here's a diagram of the circuit we just connected. So in order to use the DHT11 on the Arduino, we have to have a special library installed on our computer. Uh, this is the DHT lib library. There's a couple other ones, but I just chose this one because uh, it's the simplest. All you have to do is download the zip file, then you open up your Arduino IDE, and then in the drop down menu sketch, select include library, and then add library, and then you search for where you downloaded the zip file, and click on that, and it'll install the library for you. It's really simple. After you have the library installed, we can uh, run some code on it. So I just have a basic program here. I'm going to copy this. Open up the Arduino IDE. Paste it in there. And upload it. Once that's uploaded, just open up the serial monitor. And your temperature and humidity readings will be displayed. So, uh, temperature is in Celsius, and humidity is in relative humidity. And to demonstrate, I've got a wet paper towel. I'll put that in front of the DHT11. And you can see the humidity increase. Right. Also in this article, I uh, have a program if you want to output the temperature and humidity readings to an LCD display. Just check out uh, my other tutorial on how to set up an LCD display on an Arduino to connect the LCD. 
I won't go step by step here on setting up the LCD because I have another video on that too you can check out. But we'll connect the DHT11. Negative pin of the DHT11 to the negative rail of the breadboard. Positive pin of the DHT11 to the positive rail. And the signal pin of the DHT11 to digital pin 7 of the Arduino. It's the same setup as without the LCD display. But the code is different. We have to include the liquid crystal library. We'll copy that. And paste it. And then upload. And there we go. Temperature and humidity output to the LCD display. Here's our wet paper towel. So you'll notice that changes in humidity take a little bit longer to register than changes in temperature. And that's because the humidity sensor portion of the DHT11 actually absorbs moisture onto a substrate, which changes the resistance between two electrodes. You can do a lot with the DHT11, not just um, output the temperature and humidity readings to a display, you can use the DHT.temperature or DHT.humidity variable in other functions. You could use them to turn on or off a 5 volt relay when the humidity reaches below a certain value. In the case of a soil moisture monitoring project, you could use it to turn on or off a water pump when the humidity reaches below a certain value. And in my next video, I'll show you how to control a power outlet with the DHT11 and the Arduino. All right, well, that's about it. I hope you found this helpful. And if you like it, please like it and share it if you know anybody else that would enjoy it as well. All right, well, I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye-bye.